Before the Industrial Revolution, the economy was mostly agricultural. The main transportation were horses and river canals. Illness was common because of inadequate food, poor hygiene, and non-existence of sewage system. Life expectancy was very short. People were religious and uneducated, with no confidence in their future. Very few people worked in manufacturing, mining, and trade units. Manufacturing was small and localized. Anything made of metal was very expensive and handmade. About 80% people worked in their own small agricultural farms in rural areas. Some historians call that an old order, era in human history with predominant natural economy and cottage industry, where famines were commonplace due to poor harvests and surges in fertility and outbreaks of epidemics wiped out a third of Europe's population. But in the middle of the 18th century, the world began to change. In the 1760s, the Industrial Revolution began in Britain. Revolution in textile development was a starting point. Cloth production was a slow and labor-intensive task, limiting productivity. Invention of the spinning jenny, water frame, spinning mule, and flying shuttle made wearing the first mass-produced product during the Industrial Revolution. Machines was made faster and easier than cloth made by hand. Huge factories were built and filled with machines producing different kinds of cloth. It was no surprise that the textile revolution originated here. Cloth production had been the most important craft for England for centuries. In addition, the colonies provided resources and at the same time were a market for British products. From the 1790s, steam-powered machines were used with such success in the textile industry that by 1835, around 75% of cotton mills were using steam power. The new industry needed engines and lots of iron. To produce iron and fuel to the engines, you need energy. Plenty of coal meant that Britain was the right place for the Industrial Revolution. Draining flooded mines to extract more coal was the main reason the steam engine was invented. As lighting used coal gas and coke was needed to make iron and steel, so the demand for coal kept on growing. Coal was needed for engines, weaving mills and factories. Coal mining boomed. In Britain in the 17th century, primitive steam engines were used to pump water out of mines. In 1769, the Watt steam engine, designed by James Watt with developments, answered the market's demand for a powerful engine that could be used anywhere. By 1800, Britain boasted over 2,500 steam engines, most of them used in mines cotton mills, and factories. To make a lot of engines and transport a lot of coal, you need a lot of iron. Thus was born the revolution in metallurgy. Before that, iron production was done by blacksmiths. It was a very difficult, low productivity process because of the inability to heat iron ore to high temperatures. First of all, coke began to be used instead of traditional charcoal. Production of quality iron improved significantly. Steel is far superior 
in strength and malleability compared to iron. These advantages meant that steel was particularly useful for larger projects like bridge building and weight-bearing items like rail tracks. There was a major drawback, though, in the iron versus steel competition. Steel making was much more expensive than iron making since it could only be done in relatively small quantities. This situation changed thanks to the endeavors of the Bessemer converter. A new type of blast furnace made it possible to produce much larger quantities of higher quality steel, resulting in iron bridges, rails, steam locomotives, and steamboats. The new industry needed an improved logistics system, as water canals and horse-drawn transportation could no longer cope. A transportation revolution had begun. The combination of coal, steel and machinery created a fundamentally new transportation, steam locomotives and rails. 1825, George Stevenson designed the locomotion first train engine. This locomotive was powerful enough to pull carriages, and it transported the first steam railway passengers from Stockton to Darlington in the northeast of England. In 1829, the world's first intercity railway was built between Liverpool to Manchester. Locomotive rocket reheard 30 miles per hour. The railway lines spread quickly. By 1870, there were over 15,000 miles of rail lines. By the mid of 19th century, there was already invented steam engine, spinning jenny, spinning mule, water frame, Bessemer Prosses, steam locomotive, primitive steamboats, gas street light, telegraph. That was end of the first industrial revolution which took place from the 1760s till the 1840s. Please put likes and comments if this video was interesting. I appreciate it very much. Good luck.